I am converting these fluorescent fixtures to LED so that I can use an LED bulb in here instead of the fluorescent bulb. And the reason I'm doing this is because the LED bulbs, not only do they last longer, but they draw a much less power. Before we get started, I want you to know that these are fluorescent uplight fixtures in my kitchen. They're up above our kitchen cabinets. But it's also important to know that this video is purely for entertainment purposes. You should always use the services of an electrician and never attempt this on your own unless you're comfortable working with your home wiring. So if you do this job yourself, you do so at your own risk. It's always important that you turn off any breakers to the electricity that controls these lights. So go to your breaker box, flip that breaker off, and also turn off the switch to the lights if there is a switch. Now the fixtures that I'm working on today are two foot long single bulb fixtures. But if you have multiple bulb fixtures or four foot tubes, the principle is the same the way I'm wiring these up. I'm also using double ended LED light bulbs from Hyper Icon. So what I've done is I've taken out the two nuts that hold this particular fixture together. And I'm just gonna raise up here and here you can see the ballast that I've got. So what we have to do is cut all the wires that go to the ballast and I'm gonna remove the ballast. You can see here we have two red wires going to this side of the ballast and those go up here to this single tombstone and then on the other side you've got a white, a blue, and another white going to the other tombstone. So I'm going to cut these wires as close to the ballast as I can get because I need that length to reach uh, my hot wires over there. So we're going to cut this okay. And then I'm going to cut the wires on the other side. I have to work left-handed, which is not easy. Okay, so all the wires have been cut to the ballast. Now I'm going to remove these two nuts, and I'm just going to take the ballast out because I'm never going to use it again. Also want to take a second to thank my friend John Struhar who kind of inspired me to do this because he did this in his garage with all his fluorescent fixtures. And just uh, the ballast just comes right out and we'll just throw that away. So I've got the white wires going to this tombstone over here and I've got the black wires. You can see one came out of the ballast and we have the blue and white wires that came out of the ballast. Let's take a second and look at these wire colors. The white wire is the neutral wire that goes to the house. The black wires are the hot wires that go to the house. Green wires are the ground as well as that bare copper wire. And the blue and white, in this case, all go to this tombstone over here. And then on the other end, all I've got are these two red wires going to this tombstone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the black down here, coming out of the house, wire those into my red, and I'm going to take the white and wire that along with this uh, blue and white wire and the other white wire, and those are going to go back into that left side tombstone. I'm just getting rid of this excess black wire that used to go to the ballast.
And I'm just stripping off these uh, red wires. Okay, now I'm going to tie these wire, these red wires into the black coming out of the house using this wire nut and check, make sure that they're not going to come out. They're in there, solid. On the other side, we have these white wires coming out of the house here. And then we've got one white wire that's already tied into this tombstone on the left side. And then we have a blue and a white wire that also need to go to that left tombstone. So everything coming out of this left side tombstone is going to be going into the white. Everything on the right side went into the black. So basically we have nothing but hot going to one of the tombstones and we have nothing but neutral going to the other tombstone. Up here you've got the ground which goes to this copper wire. I leave that alone. That's just grounded to the fixture up here. I'm not touching it at all. So that's that stays where it is. So I'm just going to remove this wire nut and I'm going to tie these two wires right into the white. I'm going to check to make sure these wires will not pull out. Make sure they're in there solid, which they are. And then I'll just tuck all these wires back down here and we'll close up this fixture. <clears throat> And now we should be ready to add our fluorescent bulb. I mean our LED bulb. I'm sorry. We need to be ready to add our LED bulb once uh, they come in. I'm going to test it here in a little bit with one. I do have some LED bulbs, but I'm waiting on some more to come in. And we'll just uh, reattach this on this fixture. Okay, that one's done. Okay, now we're ready to put the bulbs in. We're in this one fixture. I'm using this. Uh... These bulbs were installed several years ago, and Hyper Icon apparently is no longer in business. I had purchased these on Amazon. And I just checked before posting this video, and apparently they are no longer in business. I would recommend Sunco if you're going to buy bulbs from Amazon. They also make some bulbs that don't require the removal of the ballast. I just chose to do it this way because I thought it was a cleaner installation. Looks like a fluorescent bulb, but it's actually an LED. You can see it's got the two little contacts on the end. And... In this particular fixture, the way these bulbs fit, they just kind of aim out because they were really designed for under cabinet. And we do have light. We've had these LEDs now for a few years and they've worked excellent. We love them. They put out a great light and we've now replaced everything in the kitchen with LEDs.